In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You know, this was an experience narrated by a man. He said, I landed at Dubai airport. I was waiting for my turn for the taxi and a driver pulled up and the taxi was bright, very well maintained and as the driver came out and he opened the back door for me and as I was entering into this, the car, the driver gave me a laminated card and told me, please read my mission statement. And the mission statement said, I, Simon, want to reach my passenger the shortest, safest and earliest route in a very friendly environment. He was surprised. So as he was loading the luggage, he introduced himself and as he sat at the driver's seat, he asked the man, Sir, what do you like to drink? Regular coffee or decaf? Then he jokingly said, I would like to have some juice. He said, yes, sir, we have orange juice, we have water and we have Coke, both regular and the diet. He asked for the orange juice. As he was sipping the orange juice, the man said, sir, I have some magazines. What would you like to read? He was further shocked to hear all this. Then he handed over another card and said, these are the channels that I have for the music. What would you like me to put for you? So as they were moving, he explained the route. This is going to be the shortest route. Then he asked him, Sir, on the way, shall I explain to the places or you like to have a quiet time? So he was very touched by the courtesy that was extended by the driver. So he asked him, have you been like this right from the beginning? He said, no, for the last two years. I read an article on the power of choice. And the article said, you can be either a duck or an eagle. The duck quacks and complains, but the eagle rises above using its wings. So I chose to be an eagle. You know, prior to that, for five years, I was like the other drivers who will always grumble, complain, and then make others unhappy. So the man said, in that case, you would have risen in your career as a taxi driver. He said, yes, sir. Last year, I had double income, and this year, I expect to multiply it further. So the man was so touched by what the driver said because, you know, the, he made a choice over there. Either he could be a duck that complains about things and quacks, or he could be an eagle. Now this man has chosen to be an eagle. Jeremiah is saying like this in chapter 2, verse 21. I had planted you a choice wine of fully tested stock. How could you turn out obnoxious to me a spurious wine? You know, when the Lord planted us, He chose the best wine, the choicest wine. And then what we become 
is a big question. And that is what the Lord is asking. How could you turn out to be obnoxious, a spurious wine? So this is the choice each one has to make in his own life. One can be a duck, one can be an eagle. Now in the Holy Land, where Jesus lived, there are two seas. The first is the Sea of Galilee, the other one is the Sea, the Dead Sea. Interestingly, both these seas have the same source, the river of Jordan. It flows down from the Hermon Mount, from Syria and Palestine, and it flows down to the Sea of Galilee. And we know the Sea of Galilee is the sea where Jesus was boating, where Peter walked, and there is a lot of instances cited in the Bible. Now the Sea of Galilee is 13 miles long and 7 miles wide. But this Sea of Galilee is a source of water supply for the whole of Israel. You know, today Israel has become the biggest agriculture producer in the world but the water comes from River Jordan. That is the source. Now, now, this water flows down. It flows down and it goes to the Dead Sea. Now, Dead Sea is much larger. It's 50 miles long and it is 11 miles wide. But in the Dead Sea, there is no fish, there are no plants around, whereas in the Sea of Galilee, there is a lot of fish and there is a lot of greenery all around. So in the Dead Sea, even if a fish goes in, it will die immediately. Because the saline content in the Dead Sea is 10 times more than the ocean water. Therefore, what we see from the Dead Sea is that Dead Sea does not give even a drop of water to anyone. It receives, it keeps on receiving the water that flows down from a river Jordan. Now, it is the lowest point on the earth where this water is stored. But what happens to the water? It evaporates. So the source for both the rivers are the same. What makes the difference? The difference is that one keeps giving. The other one does not give. But the other one keeps storing it. But the water level doesn't increase. It evaporates. You know, this is uh, a sea. Dead sea is such that you can just float on the Dead Sea. I have, you know, lied down over the Dead Sea reading the newspaper. And you don't sing. Because the water level, uh, the, the saline content of the water is so much that it is so hard and thick water. So something that we learn from these examples is that we can make a choice. It is our choice that matters a lot. So we can make use of our opportunities. We can rise like the eagle. But there are times when we don't choose to be that. And that's where we end up as the duck. But the Lord is reminding us today that when I created you, when I appointed you, you were chosen as the best. But most of the time, when we have ended up differently, when we have ended up sour, bitter, negative, 
it's because of the choice that we have made so let us remember the power of choice in our life in our life situations even when we face difficult times when we choose our career our profession it's all for us to decide what we want to be are we going to be of use to others are we going to be of service to others or we want to confine everything to ourselves and end up you know being a dead sea so t- today the choice before you is that you can be the sea of galilee or you can be the dead sea what would you choose you have the power of choice now do you want to be an eagle or do you want to be a duck that you want to be grumbling and complaining or do you want to rise above the your situation and then be of service to others be of service to humanity may the lord bless you In the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen for fulfillment <laughs> Discover true happiness Stay tuned to Shalom World